Hello everyone! Teacher V is here at nandito tayo para pag-aralan ang mga lessons natin sa math. Ang focus natin ay ang lesson sa grade 9 mathematics at ito ay tungkol sa direct variations. At ang learning objective natin para sa video na to ay to illustrate situations that involve direct variations. Ano nga ba ang ibig sabihin ng direct variations? Paano yung pag-compute dito? At papaano natin magagamit to in our everyday life? So let's see! When we say direct variations, it describe a simple relationship between two variables. So dito sa direct variation, merong relationship yung dalawang variables na ginagamit natin. Pero hindi ibig sabihin na meron tayong dalawang variables na may relationship at eh, direct variation na agad. Of course, hindi yun ganon. Bakit? Kasi kailangan para makonsider nating direct variation, dapat it produces pairs of numbers in which their ratio is constant. Anong ibig sabihin yan, ma'am? ba? nabanggit ko na kanina na meron nga ditong pinag-uusapan na dalawang variables na may relationship. Para masabing direct variation, dapat yung dalawang variables na yon ay ang ratio o pag dinivide yun, ang makukuha ang sagot or ratio ay pare-pareho. Kaya tinawag siyang constant. Mas maiintindihan pa natin yung ibig sabihin ng direct variations pag pinakita ko sa inyo yung mga examples. Okay? Ngayon, papaano natin isusulat yung direct variation into a mathematical sentence? Ito yun. Y is equal to K X or Y is equal to K times X. Yung dalawang variable na ginamit natin dito ay Y at saka X. Yung binanggit ko naman kanina na ratio ng dalawang variables or ratio ng Y at saka X, yun yung tinatawag natin na constant of variation o yung K. Tandaan na yung K natin ay palaging kasama sa direct variation. Hindi yan dapat mawala. Ngayon, papaano naman natin siya isusulat as a sentence? Ayan. Isinusulat natin siya just like this. Y varies directly as X. Pag nakakita kayo niyan, direct variation yon. Ito pa. Y is directly proportional to X. This is also a direct variation. Directly proportional. Y is equal to KX. Next, yung y is proportional to x. Pag sinulat natin into a mathematical sentence, ganun din, y is equal to kx. So, nakita nyo, laging may k. Hindi nawawala yung constant of variation. At ang formula or tandaan para makuha ang k o constant of variation, we need to divide or get the ratio of y and x. Divide lang natin yung dalawang variables para makuha natin yung ating K or constant of variation. Mapapansin din natin sa direct variation ito. As X increases, Y increases. As X decreases, Y decreases also. Ibig sabihin, pag mataas ang X, Mataas din si Y. Pag mababa ang X, mababa din si Y. Tignan natin yung graph. Yung dalawang variables na ginamit natin dito ay yung number ng pizza, ayan, number of pizzas, tapos yung cost o yung price ng pizza. Nakita natin na habang dumadami yung pizza mo, mas tumataas yung cost or babayaran mo. Again, yung X natin dito, yung number of pizzas, and then yung cost is yung Y o yung price, ba? Kapag mas mababa ang binili mo, mas konti ang binili mong pizza, edi konti lang din ang babayaran mo. Pero once na mataas or parami, araming pizza yung bilhin mo, tataas din ang babayaran mo. Kaya ang graph ng ating direct variation ay linear or one line lang, pataas. Okay? 
Ngayon, tignan pa natin yung ibang example ng mga situations na nagpapakita ng direct variation. Ito yung isang example. The fare or F of a passenger varies directly as the distance of his destination. Ang dalawang variables na ginamit natin dito ay yung fare or pamasahe, F, at yung distance o yung layo ng kanyang pupuntahan. So, this is an example of a direct variation. Mas mahal ang magiging pamasay mo kung mas malayo yung pupuntahan mo, di ba? Kaya, direct variation to. Paano natin to isusulat into a mathematical sentence? Okay, we will write it as F is equal to K D or K times D. Yung F dahil dun sa fare, tapos yung D ay dahil dun sa distance. At nabanggit ko na kanina na laging may K dun sa ating direct variation. Next, ito naman, the cost or C of fish varies directly as its weight or W in kilograms. How can we write it into a mathematical sentence? Ang answer is C is equal to KW or K times W. Yan yung C. Tapos yung isa pang pa variable is yung W at laging may K. Laging hindi nawawala yung constant of variation. Ito pa, an employee's salary S varies directly as the number of days or D he has work. When we write it into a mathematical sentence, we have S is equal to K D. Yung S, yung salary, tapos yung D, yung number of days niya. Diba? So, this is also an example of a direct variation. At napansin nyo, palaging naandun yung K or constant of variation. Ngayon, mag-solve naman tayo. This is um, our example number one. If Y varies directly as X and Y is equal to 32 when X is equal to 4, find the constant, uh, the variation constant and the equation of variation. Ang hahanapin natin, yung variation constant or constant of variation, pareho lang yon. tapos yung equation. Una, we need to express the statement. According to the statement, y varies directly as x. Kaya y is equal to kx. Tapos, isolve natin yung k by substituting the given values in the equation. Sabi sa problem natin kanina, ang y ay 32 tapos ang x ay 4. Now, using our statement or mathematical sentence, we will substitute the values of x and y. Yung y ay 32, then equals to k. Wala pa yung k, so just write k lang. Tapos yung x natin, which is 4. And then, isimplify na natin. So, k times 4 is 4k. Ngayon, we divide both sides to 4 para makuha natin yung k. Kasi 4 divided by 4 is 1 na lang or k na lang. So, masasolve na natin yung k. And then, divide natin yung 32 sa 4. The answer is 8. Our k is equal to 8. Diba yun yung pinapahanap sa atin based doon sa problem number 1 natin? Hanapin daw ang constant of variation. Or ito pa yung another way. Po, pwede naman kunin mo yung k using the formula of k is equal to y over x. So, directly na to. Or diretso na to, kunin mo yung x and y. So, 32 nga yung y natin, tapos x is 4, tapos directly i-divide mo na agad. 32 divided by 4, the answer is 8. Now, form the equation of variation by substituting 8 in the statement y is equal to kx. Kasi aside sa k, ang kailangan din natin is yung equation of variation. Kaya i-substitute natin yung nakuha natin k, which is yung 8, dun sa ating statement, ang magiging answer natin or equation ng ating variation is y is equal to 8x. Again, yung 8 ay galing dun sa ating k. Tapos, isinulat lang natin yung y and x. Example number 2 naman tayo. If y varies directly as x and y is equal to 42 when x is 7, 
find x when y is 18. Ayan na, ang dami ng numbers. Ano yan? Paano yan isosolve? Una, express ulit natin yung statement na y varies directly as x. Kaya y is equal to kx. And then, solve na ulit natin ang k. Substitute lang natin yung mga values ng y and x sa ating mathematical sentence. And then, simplify. That's why we have 42 is equal to k times 7. So, k times 7 is 7k. I-divide lang natin both sides to 7 so that we can get the k. Our answer is 6. Now, after getting the k, we need to solve for x when y is equal to 18 using the value of k. y is equal to 18, tapos yung k natin is 6. So, palitan lang natin dun sa ating equation na y is equal to kx. Yung y ay magiging 18, and then equal to k. Yun na yung 6, kaya may 6 na dyan. Tapos yung x, hindi pa natin alam yung x, kaya just write x. And then, so for x, we divide both sides. We divide it by 6. Our x is 3. So, na-solve na natin yung ating example number 2. The answer is 3. So, ang ginawa natin, divide type tapos times lang. Ngayon, aside dun sa pinakita ko, meron pang another way. Ito ay optional lang naman kung gusto nyo rin gamitin to, kayo na yung bahala. Mamili kung ano yung mas pabor sa inyong paraan ng pagkuha ng direct variation o ng mga values ng direct variation. Ito yon yung gagamit tayo ng proportion. Y sub 1 over X sub 1 is equal to Y sub 2 over X sub 2. At dun sa ating uh, example number 2, ang y sub 1 dun is yung 42, ayan, at yung x sub 1 is 7. Ang y sub 2 ay yung ating uh, 18. Tapos, alin lang nawawala rito? Ang nawawala rito is yung x sub 2. Okay? Again, ang gagamitin natin dito para makuha yung solution or yung answer is yung proportion. Sulat lang natin yung mga values. Y is equal to 42. X sub 1 is 7. Y sub 2 is 18. Then, ang hahanapin is yung X sub 2. Ipalit lang natin yung mga values dun sa formula. 42 over 7 is equal to 18 over X. Nilagay lang muna natin yung X kasi hindi natin alam pa yung x sub 2. Then, 42 divided by 7 is 6. Then, cross-multiply natin para makuha na natin si x. 6 times x is 6x. Then, equal to 18. Then, divide both sides to positive 6 para makuha ang x. Ang answer natin is 3. X is equal to 3 dahil 18 divided by 6 is 3. So, nakita nyo, pareho lang din yung uh, solution natin pero magkaibang way. So, pwedeng yung proportion yung gamitin nyo or pwedeng yung sa equation na lang by substituting the equation. Basta tandaan na sa direct variation ng ating equation ay y is equal to kx at binabasa natin to or ginagamit natin na word dito is varies directly as y varies directly as x Ayan. tapos ang formula sa pagkuha ng k is yung y over x at ito pa yung isa yung proportion ay pwede rin nating similar proportion ay pwede rin nating magamit sa pag-solve ng mga nawawalang uh, values ng ating direct variation. At sana may natutunan kayo sa video natin today at nakatulong to sa pagsagot ninyo sa inyong mga modules. Okay? And kung may question ba, just type in uh, your questions to our comment section. Huwag din kalimutang i-share to sa iba para maraming gumaling sa math, maraming matuto pa sa mathematics. At mag-subscribe ka na rin sa channel ko dahil marami pa akong gagawin na videos related sa subject natin sa math. Okay? So, see you again next time and goodbye!